We are live. At least it says we're live. So here's what I want to do. I know that the webinars take at least a couple minutes for people to hop on and to connect with. So I'm seeing people hop on. So here's what I'd ask as a favor. I want you all to use the chat window here that allows you to tell me that you can see me. So first, let's start off and just make sure that everyone's connecting properly. If you're online and listening to my voice right now, use that chat box and give me a where are you from, city, state, just a shout out that says you can hear us, you can see us. One challenge with webinars is I can see and hear myself, but and I see that right now we have uh, about 40 people already on. So again, just somebody do that for me if you would. And today, we're going to rock your world when it comes to the understanding of leaky gut, indigestion, acid reflux, you name it. So again, I want to see, are we active? Are we live? Can you start that broadcast? I want to make sure we're here. I'm getting a thumbs up. Rebecca gets the gold star award, says, I see you. Thank you, Rebecca. So now that I see people are popping in, Lake Wiley, Jerry from Lake Wiley, you guys just keep that Taylor's here, beautiful, in the house, Taylor. Hey, listen, uh, I sent out you know, some surveys and I got a good amount of results back. About 60 of you said yes. Dr. Ernst, I want to join today and I have some challenges with my health, so I'm looking for a way out. I've seen everything on here from hydration and constipation to stomach pains, acid reflux, joint issues, muscle aches, IBS, IBD, leaky gut, constipation, blood sugar issues, uh, GI issues, nerve pains, autoimmune disease, brain issues, anxiety, depression, more acid reflux. So here's what I'd like as a favor. There are Bill in Lake Wiley hopping on. Thank you. Elizabeth in Rock Hill hopping on. I see you. Now, I can only see you if you guys chat. So listen, there's three types of people on this webinar today. One is the person who's a current patient of mine and is hopping on because we do this thing called constant and never-ending learning. We're always teaching, educating, and inspiring. Phyllis, I see you, the, the audio is a little iffy. So here's the ground rules behind this, okay? If you're having video challenges, audio challenges, it's gotta be something with your connection, your internet, but there should be a red button up there that says reconnect. If you ever see the screen squeezes, if you see that the audio glitches, just reach up there and click that reconnect button. And what it'll do is it'll make sure that you get a good presentation today. Claudia's here, love that. Joe saying hi. Linda from Stallings, look at that, a reach out. Lake Lure, Phyllis is in the house. So three types of people on this webinar today. One, an active current patient of mine who's had a massive transformation already in their health and they're continuing their journey of education. So I ask a favor, if you are a current patient, your chat box should be to share your story. Tell people about your transformation. Those online today, there are some people online, group number two, who are interested but have no clue what we do. They have no idea that I'm a holistic functional practitioner, that I've had 14 years of experience helping people to heal themselves, that things like Crohn's and celiacs and IBS and IBD and leaky gut and thyroid and heart disease and diabetes, and MS and Parkinson's, you guess you're going, everything can be self-resolved when a body is active and in a healing state that we're gonna describe today. If you're a current patient, please use the chat box to say, before I saw Dr. Ernst, I was dealing with blank, and after or during, I now have blank. I no longer, I this, I'm off my meds. Let this moment be your opportunity to shine and show those who are interested what we can do. And the third type of person online today is someone who's already found out about our clinic, is investigating becoming a new patient, and has been told the only way for you to be a new patient is you have to engage in a class, a webinar, a teaching moment so that you can get the massive discounts that we offer on labs. I'm just gonna throw this out. 
It's a tremendous amount of savings that you can have by a gift of you being here today. I'm going to show you at the end of the webinar how you can save thousands upon thousands of dollars and get the right tests, not the medical tests, not the colonoscopies, not the CTs, the ultrasounds, but a test that you can do in your house that will show you what level of digestive distress do you have and solve your health issues. So I've got Janet saying hi. Julia saying, interested in what you have to say. See, there's what I mean. Julia is interested, yet I have some people on who are telling me, I'm ready to become a new patient. I'm watching so I can get your discount in your lab. So again, three types. Current patient, share your story. Use this as a testimonial moment. An interested person who want to learn more about the gut. I want to learn more about you. I want to learn more about what you do. How do you heal people? How do you take care of them? Great. We're going to do it. And then there's a person who says, I'm ready. I just need to get the offer so I can do testing. All right. So again, if for some strange reason you're having connection issues, having audio issues, I promise you it's something going on with your internet. We have a T1 line here. Okay. Over 200 megabytes on a download and over 100 on an upload. It is not us. So again, if you get stuck, frozen, whatever audio issues, just simply click the reconnect. Patricia, right? I'm waiting for my first, can't wait, I didn't get discounts. I know, right? So that's why we're here, because you're going to be able to get all the discounts as we go through this. So again, what are we here for today? That was our opening intros. I hopped on a little early to make sure you guys have that. We're here to solve your health issue. Now, a lot of you have sent me your health issue, and some of you haven't. So take a moment, those of you who did not get a chance to fill out the survey. So I'm here from... Lynn, Lisa, Rebecca, Joe, Barbara, Rube, Renee, Patricia, Nancy, Taylor, Ellen, Tamara, Bill, Melissa, Holly, Jorge, you have already told me. If you were like, oh gosh, I didn't get an opportunity to fill out what I want to talk about, do it right now. Use the chat box. Dr. Ernst, please address this. Rebus, type 2 diabetes. Look at the testimonials coming in. Ruben, look at his testimonials. Tamara. Tammy Blessing, look at her testimonial. Read the testimonials, but again, if you're somebody on right now and you're going, oh my gosh, I forgot to do the survey, will Dr. Ernst talk about my health issue? Type it in so we can today. The majority of everything that's on here has to do with our topic. Acid reflux, indigestion, IBS, IBD, leaky gut, autoimmunity, and all of the issues that come from that, headaches, joint pain, neck pain, back pain, you know, abdominal discomfort and bloating, gas, constipation, diarrhea, autoimmune disease, joint pain, fibromyalgia, fatigue, heart disease, diabetes, thyroid issues, they're all connected and you're going to learn today because 70% of your immune system lives in your gut. If you have a gut issue, acid reflux, you have a health issue and that's why you haven't healed because you need to address that issue. Jorge is online. Matthews, North Carolina. Jorge, I love it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Elizabeth is saying, doing this for her husband. So can we help your husband? Yes. Okay, so you need to learn so you can show him what to do. And if you want to get the test for him as a gift, what a great gift. And we'll talk about all that at the end. Thousands and thousands of dollars of savings. Tests that you do at your house. And then I can help you to interpret them and teach you what to do so you heal yourself. Listen, the best doctor in the world is not me, it's the doctor that's in your body. It was placed there at the beginning of you coming to this earth when the spiritual power put your soul in your body. God gifted you with the ability to heal. So fatty liver disease, pancreatic cysts, Tracy, those can go away. Your challenges can heal when you fix yourself. See, you're supposed to be the doctor, not your MD, not even me, but now watch. The real definition of a doctor, if you look up the Latin of the phrase doctor, it's to teach. So a doctor should teach. Now, I want to doctor you today, if you'll let me. I want to teach you about stuff you don't know about. And when you learn and you apply that learning, you heal. So who healed you? You did. But who taught you? I did. I'm not going to take the credit for your healing. I may take the credit for your education. I may take the credit for showing you something you've shown before, but you heal yourself. Oh my God, I really hope you see this, right? 
So lower abdominal pain, bone pain, frequent diarrhea, any advice, pay attention today. All of that can go away. It can heal. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing your, your name correctly. Is it Nzee? I don't know. Nzee? N-Z-E? Kathy, right? Doing this for your husband, so make sure you listen. Janine saying, please address diverticulosis. I will. It's an inflammatory condition of the bowel. Linda, right? Talking about getting off your acid reflux medication. That's an easy one. Oh my God, that's so easy. Acid reflux is the first symptom that shows up with an S. So guys, Deborah, adrenal gland issues, we'll talk. Type in what you want. I'm going to begin right now. And as we start, we're going to answer questions, go through, and those, again, of you who are looking for assistance and help, you'll find out. Do I have slides for today? Yes. Am I going to shrink down to a small window? Yes. Can you still hear me in chat? Yes. But today, we solve the issues within your gut. And listen, if you have a health issue, it is a gut issue. I don't care what it is. You could have headaches. That's a gut issue. You could have a thyroid problem. That's a gut issue. You could have joint pain, gut issue. Diverticulitis, of course it's a gut issue. It's in the gut, acid reflux, of course, it's your stomach. Okay, IBS, IBD, Crohn's, celiacs, you name it, we're gonna talk about it and let's begin because that's what you're here for. You get well and you wanna heal. The first thing that I have to describe whenever we talk about solving gut issues is this concept of this. If you wanna heal from anything, allergies, Linda, if you wanna heal from that, Tracy, right? The only thing that gets you moving in the morning, I just, it had a little glitch, I lost it. Tracy, let them know exactly what it is, right? So gallbladder issues, are those part of the gut? Yes, your gallbladder's connected to your liver, your liver's connected to your intestinal systems. Vertigo, Margie, is definitely related to a gut issue. Bladder issues, if you're talking about urinary bladder, we can talk about that, but if you're talking about gallbladder, absolutely. Pretty consistent constipation is an absolute definite gut issue. But no, look, all the things you guys are listing, so keep listing them because I want to see what they are, but all of them can be traced to a root cause. Now, what I need you to understand is this analogy that you are like a tree. You are planted on the earth, but we don't have roots that anchor us down into the ground. We can go about and walk around do all kinds of things. And your body has a capacity to regenerate and self-heal. The difference is this. Medicine's going to say that your digestive issues or your autoimmune disease or your thyroid problems or your anxiety or your depression is the problem. That's your issue. You need to somehow fix those problems. Superficial. They are your leaves. They are the tree. They are you. What we see externally and sometimes even diagnostically, is you, the tree. You're a beautiful tree. Please understand the analogy because you need to see where I'm going with this. Your leaves and your branches are your body, your organs, your heart, your lungs, your liver, your spleen, your pancreas, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what medicine can do, conventional, is look and test things they see. We can see the tree trunk. We can see the branches. We can see the leaves. Now, question. If you're saying to me stuff like, I have vertigo, which is a gut issue. If you're saying I have diverticulosis, diverticulitis, Crohn, cerebral bowel, IBS, thyroid problems, all of them are gut issues. Why? 70% of your immune system is found in your gut. If you have a health issue, your immune system is weak. If the immune system is weak, it's coming from the gut. So Phyllis, diabetes, high blood pressure, Barrett's, depression, vertigo, all gut issues. But actually, technically, all root issues gut issues. So here's what I mean by that. If you're a tree, a living being, and you look at the upper world, what we see, all of it is stemming from the effect of what's happening in your root systems, okay? So you absorb nutrition. You have your lifestyle. You have your stress. You have your toxins. You have all the stuff that's being put into your system. Soft yellow stools, Pam. Yes, digestive issue, you have these things that come into your system, your roots, and it affects the expression of your health, your tree. And what you see is instead of a vibrant, bright living oak with beautiful leaves, we see drooping, yellowing, we see dysfunction, we see withering, we see sections that are missing, we see a tree that is starting to show signs of disease. 
dying. Now, now watch. A medical doctor would fix the tree by saying, well, let's give you some sort of a drug. Let's put chemicals into the ground to try to stimulate that tree to grow back. Or let's go up and tape or splint or branch the branches. Let's paint the leaves green. Let's hide the true cause. Let's make it look good, make it feel good, but never address the root issue. So I'm here today to tell you this. We're going to go so deep into the root issues of all health issues, but they all stem from your gut. So if you're having Barrett's disease or acid reflux, or you have an IBS or an IBD, stool changes, constipation, diarrhea, or you've been diagnosed as inflammatory bowel or uh, IBS, some sort of a syndrome, and you're taking medications, that's the medical route trying to chemically change your body so you either don't feel what's going on or your symptoms change. But let's go so deep that instead of treating above, instead of dealing with the digestive issue, we go to the root cause. Man, I hope you guys see this. You are a living being that has full regenerative capacity. If there's something wrong with your tree, stop masking it. Stop covering it up. Stop taking medications to make it look like something it's not. Go deep into the roots and your body, when there's no interference, when there's no damage, can heal itself. So Linda, if you, if you want to get off these depressive meds that you just talked about, you're going to see today that all of your hormones for your brain's functionality for depression, serotonin, dopamine, epinephrine, norepinephrine, are made in your gut, not in your brain. So if you're depressed, that's a gut issue. If you're tired, that's a gut issue. If you're having fibromyalgia symptoms, that's a gut issue. If you have high blood sugar, gut issue. High cholesterol, gut issue. High blood pressure, I already said that, gut issue. Palpitations, gut issues. Arrhythmias, gut issues. Neck pain, gut issues. Back pain, why? Your gut is your immune system. It is your root system, okay? So those of you who said, I want to learn how to get off medications for acid reflux and indigestion and things like that, you must understand you have been lied to. Acid reflux is not too much acid in your stomach. That's what medicine says. You have too much acid inside your stomach. They're going to say, for some reason, you hyperproduce acid and what's happening is the acid is flowing up through your stomach into your esophagus and causing a fire and an alarm that you feel as pain, reflux. Now, they're going to tell you that also what's happening is that the sphincter, which is a fancy phrase for a muscle that should close like a valve that keeps the stomach acid in the stomach and from coming up, is weak. But they won't tell you why. Now, real quick, I want to engage the chat box right now, okay? Tell me this. I'm going to turn this little PowerPoint thing off just for a moment so I can see you face to face. Ready? Tell me this. Why is it that if a muscle is weak, like the esophageal sphincter is weak, and medicine says this is the cause of the problem, you're refluxing back up because you can't control the sphincter. It is a muscle, yes? Somebody tell me in the chat box. What makes muscles contract? How is it that I take the bicep in my arm and contract it? How am I physically doing this, okay? For those of you who may or may not know, it is an electrical spark that's generated in your brain as a thought. I have to think, move my arm. Therefore, I generate an electrical current down a nerve pathway that goes through my neck, out the nerves in my neck, to the brachial plexus, to the muscle to make it contract. So Annette, you're right. Nerves make muscles contract. Now watch. I'm going to go back to something real quick. We go back to this where the med medical doctors will say it's a weakened esophageal muscle. The difference between your bicep and your stomach is you can't consciously make your stomach contract. You can't go like this. I think it's time for me to contract my stomach. Therefore, initiate a nerve signal and down it goes. It's called autonomic control. Your brain stem does it for you, thank God. Because if you had to think about making stomach acid all the time, you would forget about making your heart beat and you would die. If you had to think about breathing every single 30 seconds to pull a breath in and pull a breath out, you would forget to excrete toxins through your kidneys and you would die. You see where I'm going with this? It's automatic. 
It's your brain's capacity to control your body all the time. So what happens is this. If you have a weakened muscle system, if you have acid reflux, you have a neurological condition. You don't have an inability to keep your diet clean and not eat spicy foods and foods that make reflux. You don't have too much acid. You have not enough acid. How do we know this to be the case? Well, the nerves that go down your spine to your stomach tell your stomach to make acid. When you have neurological compression resulting in muscle weakness, the stomach is going, I can't, I can't, I can't hold this together. I can't make enough acid. Now watch, why does it burn and why would a medical doctor say there's too much acid? When you can't contract your stomach and you can't close the esophageal sphincter, you still eat food, yes? You still consume breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snacks. So what happens is the food goes into your stomach, you can't digest it, it sits there longer than it should. It's called delayed gastric emptying. The food that should leave your stomach in two hours is still there four, six, eight hours later as an undigested blob. It will rot. It will ferment. You will create organic acids, lactic acid and other things, acetic acid, etc. And because this esophageal sphincter is weak and your stomach is not emptying, it just goes up. And you feel this, oh, and that's called reflux, but it is not too little of stomach acid. I hate to burst the bubble, but someone has to tell you the truth. I have seen 99.999% resolution of acid reflux in our patients when you do one thing, fix the interfering in the spinal system and actually increase stomach acid consumption through supplementation. We give them stomach acids. And I know you're going to think that sounds insane. Absolutely insane. Sarah, what about sensory neural hearing loss? It is an autoimmune condition that stems from the gut. We're going to go there in a second. So just hang with me, okay? Vagus nerve is the master control system. It sits right next to the cranial nerves that go to the ear. If you have inflammation on the vagus nerve, it can spill over into the, near, into the ear and we get hearing loss as a result. Had hundreds of patients get their hearing back. Back acid reflux. Do you understand the analogy? Please pay attention. It is not stomach acid too much. It's simply a deficiency in the nerve system's ability to control that sphincter and tighten it. There's not enough stomach acid and digestive juices because the nerves are disconnected. You eat food. It stays there too long. It builds this bolus of rotting foods and it starts to ferment. It starts to putrefy. You get organic acids and you reflux those back. Oh, I hope you see this. Medicine says take pills to turn off the acid. Functional medicine says take pills to increase the acid, but clear the nerve, clear the strengthen the sphincter. What about an IBS or IBD? These get more complicated. So irritable bowel, Crohn's, celiacs, diverticulitis, diverticulosis. Conventional medicine will say, we don't know what's causing this. We're not sure. And there's no lab test for it. You can't get a blood test run that says, oh, you have diverticulosis. It's only present by them physically looking through either a colonoscopy, a sigmoidoscopy, an endoscopy, or sometimes you can see it on an x-ray or CT. Linda, can you make my primary care physician? Yes, I can become that. I'm a functional medicine practitioner. I can do everything a medical doctor does, but I don't prescribe drugs. I'm also a structural chiropractor and I'm a health coach. I want to teach you, Linda, and whoever else, how to solve these problems because you can get your hearing back. If you decompress the nerve, get rid of the neurotoxins, it happens all the time. Now watch, IBS, IBD, Crohn's, celiacs, irritable bowel, diverticulosis, diverticulitis, all of those you asked about this. Conventional medicine will say, we don't know what's causing it, but we can help you to feel better. Fiber laxatives, antidiarrheal, antidepressants. Listen, a lot of times what happens is people say, I, something's wrong with me, doc. I don't feel good. My gut's a mess. I've got orange poop and I'm tired all the time. And they run every gamut of medical tests. You guys know what I'm talking about? So they'll run things like um, blood work and urine work and CTs, ultrasounds, and it comes back all medically normal. And yet the doctor will say, well, I don't know what's wrong. So you must have either anxiety or maybe you're depressed. 
We're going to put you on a pill that's going to make you feel different. Right now, antidepressants are the number one most prescribed drug in the United States because a lot of people are saying, I feel like something's wrong, but my doctor can't find it. Okay, you need to become the doctor. You need to find the cause of your problems and let someone show you how to do that. That's what I do for a living, 13 years teaching people how to heal themselves. What is the real cause behind IBS, IBD, diverticulitis, diverticulosis, Crohn's, and celiacs? Ready? A disconnection that's called your gut brain axis. We have to talk about that today. Your gut brain axis is how your gut and your brain talk to each other. One of you commented on the, on the, the, um, either the survey or the comments here that you wanted to learn about your second brain. Your gut is your second brain. They've proven this. Why do they say that? It produces neurotransmitters. All of you who are anxious, depressed, overworked, overstressed, overwhelmed, your gut is stressed. So you decrease production of your feel-good hormones, serotonin, epinephrine, norepinephrine, and dopamine. They're made in the gut, not the brain. They're used in the brain, but they're made in the gut. They travel up through the enteric nerve system to the brain. Now, if you have nerve irritations at the vagus nerve or the thoracic and lumbar nerves, the junction between your middle back and your low back, then the nerve system can't make your colon contract and make the stuff move through it. So we get a weakened colon. So food stays there too long. It starts to putrefy. It's the same issue as acid reflux, but it's a different nerve involvement. If you have T6 and C1 nerve involvement, you will have acid reflux. If you have T12, L1, L2 nerve involvement and vagus nerve involvement, you get an IBS or an IBD. Do you see it? There's a key. There's a way to find out what's causing it. Your roots are interfered with. So what happens is the food in your stomach, stomach, colon, intestines, see so you call it stomach, but guys, your stomach is your stomach. It's underneath your ribs on the left side. Your gut, not your stomach, not your stomach, your gut is your small intestine, large intestine. If you have an infection because the food is hanging out too long, it's called SIBO if it's in the small intestine. You can have parasites and fungus and yeast in the large intestine. You maybe have damage to the actual cell tissues because of Roundup. Glyphosate sprayed onto the non-organic fruits and vegetables that causes a leak, which we'll talk about in a moment, that leads to food sensitivities that causes stress and anxiety that makes your immune system go down. All IBSs, diverticulosis, Crohn's, celiacs, etc., are functional issues. It's a problem that is coming not from an unknown source. We know exactly where it comes from, so you can correct it. Again, just like Linda saying in the chat, you technically need to be the primary doctor, Linda. You should be your own doctor. Can I coach you, help you, show you how to get the right tests, and show you how to clear this stuff out? Yes. That's what we're here for today, aren't we? Now, I want to go, because some of you said I have celiacs. Okay, I'm going to tell you, tell you something. Celiacs is not a disease the way you think it is. It's not a genetic condition. It's not something that you just develop overnight. Celiac's disease, according to medicine, is an unknown autoimmune disease that is caused by being allergic to wheat. So the treatment for celiac's patients, they say, well, is don't eat wheat and we'll give you medications if you have a lot of pain. Now, I'm going to hint to you something. There is proof in research that shows that people with celiac disease, which is supposedly an allergy, have shortened villi in their intestines. I don't want to get too deep, but they have short fat villi instead of tall thin villi. You cannot see this on a colonoscopy. It has to be done pathologically. You have to do a biopsy to see it. Now watch. If you think about this, what we should say is, wait a second, why does a celiac patient have short fat villi? Why does their intestine look like this? And why does a healthy intestine look like this? What we now know functionally is it's a gut-brain dysfunction between the nerve tissues and it's physical damage produced by a protein called zonulin. When zonulin is present, what happens is it spreads the cells apart and your body starts to become leaky. So watch, in a healthy gut, the cells of your intestines are really tightly knit together as a filter, a screen. You do have in your stool, in your bowel, viruses, bacteria, 
bacteria, toxins, and parasites. Everybody does. But what's supposed to happen is this tight-knit cell membrane called your gut is a filter. So your blood should only have the nutrition that you're eating, fats, proteins, carbs, vitamins, minerals, and nutrients, absorbed through the cells like a filter. Now, if someone eats gluten, no matter if they're celiac or not, there's proof of this. 99% of Americans are allergic to hybridized, genetically modified, Roundup sprayed wheat, bagels, pastas, chips, crackers, cookies, you name it, wheat. What happens is when the gluten touches the healthy cell, so gluten comes along and it touches the cell, the cell will secrete something called zonulin. It's a protein that we can find. We can detect it in blood and urine. Zonulin will make cells spread apart. And what happens is you have a gap now, so viruses, bacteria, and toxins can enter the bloodstream that is called celiac disease. It is a gluten-induced inflammation to the gut membranes that is causing a leak. Now watch, all of you have this to some degree. Even I did. My leak was a six out of 10 when I scored it initially. Right now it's a one out of 10, all right? You can solve this when you know how to test for it and I'll show you those tests in a moment. But watch, there's another type of leak that's called toxin-induced. Instead of it producing zonulin, the toxins actually physically kill some of the cells in your gut. So now you have gaping gaps, just like you here, but the difference is zonulin is normal, but you still have a gut leak. Over here, zonulin is high, and you have a gut leak. This is gluten-induced damage to the intestines. Every one of you, regardless of what you say, well, I eat bread all the time, I feel fine, Dr. Ernst, you still have it going on, you just haven't tipped the scale yet, okay? Over here, toxin-induced, glyphosate, Roundup, chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, causes physical cell death to the colon, and you leak. What I mean by leak is you get viruses, bacteria, pathogens, toxins, and other inappropriate ingredients into your blood, and your body will see this as an immune reaction. It'll enhance an immune response to try to go after those foreign objects and unfortunately, if it keeps going over and over and over and over and over again, eventually your body will become confused and it starts to attack other areas that it shouldn't. Your thyroid, your insulin response, your pancreas, your joints, your brain. So we get headaches, we get brain fog, we get forgetful. Our joints ache, they swell up. Our thyroid starts to go south on us. Our sugar start to climb. Do you see where I'm going with this? All health issues stem from something going on how bad is this? How much of this do you actually have? And so how do we do that? Well, we have to go deeper. If you have celiacs, I promise you, going gluten-free for life is just a temporary fix. You can cause these villi to grow back. They can return to their normal size and height and you can be set free from your condition, regardless of if it's celiac or not. But what about when we talk about analogies, I want you to understand, your intestines should look like a shag rug carpet, okay? I'm seeing not that many comments as of late. Maybe you guys are being blown away and you're like, I'm taking notes instead of commenting. But somebody just hit me up and tell me, am I ringing true to any of you, All right? Am I, am, I, am I touching a nerve? I hope I am because you're gonna see that you're going to be able to solve these problems. Notice this shaggy carpet on the side. The way your intestines look it's very flow-like. They have the capacity to grab nutrients and pull them in. Annette, does age affect ability to regenerate? Absolutely not. If you've been told that your condition is because of how old you are, that's another lie. Another lie. I have 90-plus-year-old patients who are regenerating, and I have 8-year-olds who are falling apart. It's not your age. It's the degree and the depth of your leak. So when your intestines no longer look like a shag rug, and they look more like this Berber rug, which is real tight knit, you cannot pull nutrients in. You can't get the nutrition through because everything's leaking into your bloodstream and your body sees those nutrients as foreign objects. So what happens is we become sensitive to everything. Sensitive to food, sensitive to light, sensitive to smell, sensitive to hearing, we, our ears start ringing. We start hearing all kinds of noises. We see flashes of light. We can't even go outside in the heat because we say it's too hot. 
When we're in a store and someone walks by with perfume, it knocks us off our rocker and we get a headache for three days. Do you guys understand? I've had some people even say, I can't even take supplements because I react to them. That is a gut issue. So how do we solve this? We have to keep going deeper. All right, if you have Crohn's disease or colitis, the only difference between those is where is the damage? Is it in your intestines? Large only colitis. Is it all throughout? Pieces of your colon, pieces of your small intestine, that's a Crohn's issue. What I mean by this is where is the damage happening and where is the inflammation present? There's no difference between Crohn's and colitis, but yet your medical doctors will say, oh, there is. One's genetic, the other is this. Some of you have inherited this or it's because of your age. All a big fat lie. Where the damage is taking place just defines if you're a Crohn's patient or a colitis patient. So if you have this issue, you can solve this problem. You just need to learn what you have. Conventional medicine is going to say that autoimmune disease is your body attacking itself. So think of the boxing analogy. They're going to say, we don't know where it's coming from. They're going to say that we know it's autoimmune, but we can't really test for it so we're gonna have to just look and see how bad it's getting by doing colonoscopies and endoscopies. Now, functionally, I'm gonna tell you, there's no difference. It starts with acid reflux. Then it becomes irritable bowel syndromes, gas, bloating, constipation, et cetera. And you might say, well, I've never had reflux, so I guess I'm safe. No, it's still happening, you just can't feel it. Once you have an IBS that goes to an IBD, they're all sourced by the same thing. Vagal nerve interference, thoracic and lumbar interference, damage to your intestines from either gluten or the Roundup toxins, and that created the autoimmunity. Do you see? Medicine says the answer is autoimmune disease. We say, no, there's always a cause for the autoimmunity. So when your medical doctor says to you, you're not going to be able to fix this because it's in your history or it's an autoimmune disease, they start there, but we end there. We say the reason it's autoimmune is because of all of this. So if you solve this, if you get rid of these guys, then what your body does is it says, great, now I can finally heal. Now I can do it. If you cut your skin, you let it scar over, or well not scar, let it scab over, and you keep picking that scab every day, it will never scar over, it will never heal. See, what you're doing is you're constantly picking at your health issues by not understanding where they come from, so you never heal. A human body simply needs no interference, just like a tree. Stop interfering with the tree and it will heal by itself. Stop putting man-made chemicals and all this kind of stuff in your body thinking it's making you better and let it heal alone. But in order for it to do it, you have to remove the interferences. So watch. This is what doctors do, medical doctors. They're gonna say, Annette Tucker, right? Colonoscopy and upper GI indicating nothing. Be careful, watch out. I'm gonna share this with you. The reason it indicates nothing is because you have to physically see the disease with a human eye in order for it to be there. Notice on your top left, hopefully, normal colonoscopy. I'm gonna share with you, this is not normal. That's an abnormal colonoscopy, just so you guys know. You need to know what healthy, healthy looks like. You will be told your colonoscopy is clean, therefore you don't have it. Eh, they can't see it yet. Do you understand this? You can have metabolic issues before you can see it visibly to be diagnosed. Colonoscopies are the worst method of detecting gastric disease because you have to have it first. Then they can see it. It's not a screening technique. It's not a saving lives technique. Colonoscopies only show you if you have a disease and how bad it is. They don't tell you if you're leading up to it. Does osteoporosis affect the nerve signaling gene? Yes, but osteoporosis is reversible, so therefore the vagal nerve interference is reversible. Annette Tucker's given us a private message. It does make sense, doesn't it? Now watch, watch. You'll see here it says IBS. Can you guys see how there's red little sections of inflammation? It kind of looks normal, but it's swollen. It's like when your sinuses get swollen and they're all clogged up. Now, ulcerative colitis, again, remember, which is a functional disease, 
is where you'll see physical holes in the colon. So these are areas where it's being eaten out. But in order for it to be ulcerative colitis, that can only be present in the large intestine. If you have ulcerative colitis in your small intestine, it's just called Crohn's disease. There's no difference. It's just where is it? I hope you see this, okay? Now, here's why I'm harping so much on colonoscopies. I've had hundreds of patients say, my doctor said my colonoscopy is good. My doctor said my lab's good. My doctor says this. My doctor says that. You have to stop listening to your doctors. If you have a health issue still that you can't get through, don't listen to your doctor, MD. Listen to your body first. It's telling you something wrong. You need to go to a physician who speaks human body language, who understands how to read what's happening to you. Now, I'm going to show this to you so you guys can hopefully be set free. This is truly a healthy colon. Can you see the difference? Somebody tell me if you see the difference and tell me what is the difference. What is the difference between this healthy colon here and this one here? I know there's a bit of a lag, so I'm going to wait. I don't want to give the answer away, but somebody tell me. What do you see more of in this one here versus in this normal, normal, which is not normal, here. This is not a normal colonoscopy. Why? There's something missing. What's missing, guys? Please tell me. Clear layers. No. Linda, boom. Blood flow. Did you see it? This colonoscopy image here is a truly healthy, normal colon. Massive, good blood flow. The other one, you're right. So Annette Tucker, the other one had constricted blood flow. That is already a digestive disorder happening. But do you see the doctors say, we don't see inflammation, we don't see disease, we don't see polyps, we don't see cancer, so you're good. Wrong. That is what a healthy colonoscopy should look like. Most of you do not have a colon that looks like this. This is what we have to help you to regenerate and reachieve. Now, let's go deeper again. Back to what I was talking about on the whiteboard causes all of this is a your sensitivity to gluten and i know what you're going to say i'm not i had i had pasta last night i feel great it's still happening i eat bagels every morning i've had a problem you do okay you have to have a problem in 1997 in the united states the companies of the food industry got together and said hey we need to figure out a way to make more wheat America is subsidized off corn, wheat, rice, soy, and oats. So they said, we need to make more. So they took the classic wheat stalk with the seeds and said, let's make a new one. They started to hybridize. They took multiple types of wheat and put them together. And what happens is they created a new style of wheat called hybridized. This was 1997, hybridized. Well, it worked but it only had a certain amount. So then on comes genetic modification, GMO, genetic modification or genetically modified organisms. And we found out, well, hey, we can take the hybridized and we can go into the genes and actually make them better. So we started hybridizing and genetically modifying wheat in 1996, 1997. So those of you who say to me, well, I was born in the 50s and we had whole wheat this and whole wheat that and nobody had these problems, Dr. Ernst, you're right we were able to handle the original gluten components much easier back then. If you eat wheat today, you're killing your gut, guaranteed for a fact, no matter who you are, celiac or not. When they hybridized the wheat and they genetically modified it, they made it so that it can only grow in the presence of a Monsanto product called glyphosate or Roundup because the seed company was Monsanto. They modified the seed. So they made a product to say, well, we want to sell more product so we'll make the seed only grow in it. And you're seeing a little bit, I have visible scientific proof that it is causing all of the diseases we have today because it's causing damage to your gut and it's shutting down your ability to heal yourself. What happens here? What happens? Ready? When you eat wheat, there is a protein found in wheat called gluten. Remember, hybridized, genetically modified, and sprayed with Roundup. When gluten touches your cell membranes, so you have your healthy barrier, as soon as it touches the healthy barrier, those, those cells produce a protein molecule called zonulin. Can you detect zonulin in the blood? Yes. Should it be in your blood? No. 
If you have high levels of zonulin in your blood, you have a gut leak. Zonulin will be turned into a product called indican, which we can test for in your urine. Greg said, can you find the original types of weeds? No, they have been completely eliminated in the United States. In other countries, yes, but in the US, you will never ever find a non-hybridized wheat, especially if you're buying conventional foods, things like that. There are some ancient grains, but a lot of them still have gluten in them. But today, your likelihood of finding an original wheat is near zero unless you leave the US. Now, gluten lands, the cell gets irritated, zonulin is a protein that comes out, when zonulin lands on the neighboring cell, it causes the tight junctions to spread apart. This is hard science. So your oatmeal, which has gluten in it, by the way, oats can have gluten. Your rice you know, cakes, there's a rice gluten. Corn, wheat, when you eat bread, that ham sandwich you had for lunch yesterday, the spaghetti and the pizza, the pastas, the cookies, the crackers. Guys, wheat is everywhere today. As soon as it touches it, the cells spread apart, and now you have a leak. And what they're learning is, it's actually activating an immune process so that your body then it starts to attack the cells. Remember I said you attack the cell and you kill it, or you cause a leak, or you have both. We can test for this. We can find out how far down the line it's going by doing simple, easy blood exams. So just know this, it's proven in the research that it causes damage. So how do we solve this then, ready? How do we solve all these problems? How do we solve your health issues? Okay, number one, you have to realize that everything that's going on with you is a gut issue. You have to realize that your gut has a nervous system connection to your brain called the enteric nerve system. So we have to fix the neurological interference. Your gut is more than likely leaking, so we have to fix that as well, so we break the chain. We have to break the cycle. And many of you have tons of chemicals in your body, including Roundup, which we can test for, and including other chemicals that are causing damage. So the way you solve your health is you look at it as a three-legged stool, as a foundation. Fix the gut, fix the chemicals, fix the nerve interferences, and self-healing turns on. All of those of you who have been reading the testimonials from our patients, this is what I teach people. Linda is saying, I know spelt has gluten. Does it cause zonulin? Yes. Zonulin is produced when gluten touches the membrane cells in the intestines. And here's the thing. It doesn't matter where the gluten comes from. It could come from rye. It could come from spelt. It could come from wheat. It could come from buckwheat. It could come from anything that has gluten. Now, are there non-glutinous grains? Sure. But does it solve the problem? It'll make you symptomatically feel better, but what is going gluten-free do for your nerve system? Nothing. What is going gluten-free do for your gut to clean out the chemical stressors? Nothing. What does it do to help your gut heal? It only symptomatically makes the pain and the irritations go away, but the gut is still damaged. It's still sitting there going, I need life. So be careful. Just because you eat Ezekiel bread, which has gluten in it, just because you went gluten-free doesn't mean you're healthy. So, nerve interference. I want to go deep now. We got it. We got to take notes. Look, we're okay, right? It's only 46 into this, okay? 46 minutes. We got plenty of time. Ready? Your brain and your gut are directly connected to each other. Direct. You have what's called an enteric nerve system. Let me show you how it works. Your brain sends a message through the vagus nerve, uses the vagus nerve to tell the gut what to do how to make hormones, how to contract everything it needs. Remember, your gut cannot make acid in your stomach unless your vagus nerve tells it to. The, the stomach doesn't just work by itself. Your intestines don't contract by themselves. So if you have nerve interference, you get a weak gut. Reflux is up and it leaks. Do you see it? I hope you see it. Okay, next, your gut is intimately connected to the bacteria found inside of it. And if there's too many bacteria, you get all kinds of inflammatory issues, but those bacteria also secrete chemicals that go back to the brain. Those of you who are anxious and stressed out and high depression issues and can't seem to solve it, it's a bacteria issue in your gut, not a deficiency in whatever the new meds are. Serotonin uptake inhibitors and you name it, right? Wellbutrin, Soloft. Luxapro, Celexa, all of those are not what you're deficient in. You actually have too much bacteria in your gut. Why? Vagal nerve damage. 
This is the primary cause of everyone's health issues. So how do we find this kind of stuff? Well, first, we got to teach you about the vagus nerve and where it comes from. When you were forming, and you are how you have this right now, the first tissues that developed was not your heart, it was not your lungs, it was your brain and your spinal cord. You can't live or breathe or have your heartbeat without it. A lot of people think that as a baby is forming, a sperm and egg cell come together, that the first thing that develops is the heart. No, the heart has to be told how to beat. The first thing that develops is the brain and spinal cord. Your brain has a wire that comes off of it right at the base called the vagus nerve that goes to your entire gut. So if you have a skull issue, if your head is sideways or cocked forward, you have nerve pressure here, you have a gut issue. Also, the middle parts of your back, T5 and T6, go to your stomach. The mid regions, T11, T12, L1, L2, L3, go to the colon. So you could have interference with your spinal system in these regions. And before you say to me, whew, I have no pain, so I must be good, be careful. You cannot feel nerve interference. Unlike what a lot of chiropractors say, it doesn't cause pain. So watch this. It has been mapped out through history, the connection between your organs and your spine. I'm showing this to you for several reasons, okay? Those of you who say, well, I don't have a gut issue, but I have a thyroid problem. No, I have a gut issue. You just don't know about it. And you also have a nerve issue to the regions that controls your thyroid, okay? Well, I don't have a thyroid problem, but my shoulders, the rotator cuff torn left and right, and I have all these issues. Well, guess what? That's the nerve above it. I don't have rotator cuff issues. I have acid reflux. Well, guess what? That's your stomach T6. I don't have acid reflux. My kidneys are shutting down, Dr. Ernst. I can't seem to produce urine. Well, guess what? That's T10. I don't have kidney problems. I can't get pregnant at all. That's T11. I don't have problems getting pregnant. I have problems with my gallbladder. I have gallstones. I have this. Oh, my God, I hope you guys see this. Every square inch of your body is connected to your nerve tissues. So if you have an interference in your spine, you have a problem with an organ. But just because you don't feel this doesn't mean that this is going on. Do you know how many people come into my office and say, Doc, I don't have a problem with my spine, but I can't control my blood sugar, my blood pressures, my et cetera. You're right, Ruben. Spinal nerve issues cause a lack of pain. Why? Because guess what? The nerves themselves that come off the spinal cord, so this is the spinal bones that you guys have in your back. This is a disc that a lot of people blow out. Can blowing out a disc cause pain? Yes, not because pinches the nerve is because the disc is torn. It'd be like if you broke your arm. If you break a bone, it's going to hurt. If you break a disc, it's going to hurt. Now, careful. What happens if you break a nerve? Somebody tell me. If I break the nerves that go to my arm, I lose control. I could pick it up and stick it in a fire, and I would feel nothing. My hand would melt in front of me, and I would say, gee, that's interesting. I don't feel it. Please understand this is crucial. Pinched nerves, nerve problems, irritations stop you from feeling things. That's right, Linda. Nerve irritation makes it so you can't feel the pain. Now, what hurts then? Well, it's the tissues and the organs and the cells around it that are no longer functional. Let me give you an analogy. When a nerve is healthy, it sends signals to make everything work, including the muscles and the tongue and the discs and the bones. It makes them generate. When your spine is out of alignment and you pinch a nerve, that does not cause pain, unlike what most conventional chiropractors tell you. It causes the muscles to inappropriately work because they've lost the signal. When the muscles inappropriate work, they get tight. And you say, oh, it hurts. And if you go to a massage therapist and they massage your back and say, you're really tight along here. Let me fix the muscles and scrape them apart. How many of you have noticed that afterwards what happens? They tighten back up again. It's not the muscle that's the problem. It's not the knee that's the problem. It's not your hip that's the problem. It's the fact you've lost nerve control. Now I'm going to go back to what we talked about with your gut. The nerves that come out of your spine, I want you to think of them as wires, electrical conductivity. Your brain has to tell your stomach to produce acid. Your brain has to tell your colon to contract and heal. If you were to think of your nerve system as a switch that you get to either increase or decrease, make bright or make dim, what happens is when your spine is out of alignment, you take that 100% on power and you decrease it. 
Now, here's what's really cool. There is a test that you can have done that will show you how much have you decreased your nerve tissues. What percentage have you shut them off at? So tell me if you would understand this analogy. In this room where the switch has been brought to 50%, it's going to be dark, but the lights will still be on. Is there anything wrong with the lights? Nope. Are they burned out or broken? Nope. What's wrong with them? Why aren't they bright? You see where I'm going with this? Why isn't your thyroid working? Why isn't your colon working? Why are you tired all the time? Because you're running out of internal power. What do chiropractors do? They don't crack spines. They reset the alignment to decrease the pressure to turn your power on, to engage your energy systems, to reconnect your brain to your organs. So we don't want zero. We don't want 50%. We want as close to 100% as possible. Let me show you a test that can tell you if you have vagal nerve problems. Because a lot of you are saying, again, in the comments, I want to heal. I want my hearing back. I want my gut back. You're going to ask a question and you need to engage. You need to engage. Get in that comment window and tell me, can you see how these two bones are out of alignment and they're almost touching each other? And so, again, the vagus nerve comes out between the back of your skull and the first bone in your neck. Can you see this? Should be pretty straightforward. This is a patient of mine who came in who had massive health issues. I'm talking massive. Autoimmune disease, had a, a loss of num uh, feeling within their leg, was almost walker slash wheelchair bound, had acid reflux, indigestion, blood sugar issues. I mean, you click it off, they had it. And what I told him was, is that you are not healing because you're blocked. Let's find out how blocked you are. Now, there's a calculation that we can run. So everybody's saying, yes, 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 I see it. What we do is we measure the angles of how far off are they from their normal alignment position. We sum them together, and it comes up with a percentage of difference. This person came in 55% off. No wonder they're not healing. No wonder they have headaches and their ears ring and they can't control their sugars and they have autoimmune diseases and their body is starting to shut down and they can't walk. Now, this is literally four months worth of functional therapy. It's not chiropractic. It's not, it's a structural reset that I'll teach you about. Somebody tell me what happened. Is this objective? Can we measure this? Can we say, oh my God, you increased your connection by 33%? Measurable, palpable change. And you know what he said to me? Uh, thank you. I no longer have headaches. My ears have stopped ringing. I've lost 36 pounds. My leg is starting to work again. No more numbs and tingling. Oh, and by the way, my doctor took me off all the meds for sugars, triglycerides, and cholesterols. Did I heal him? No. What did we do? We took the pressure off and his body healed himself because that's what he had. Now, how do you find out if you have this? You have to get an x-ray. So those of you who have stuck around, right, it's about 50 minutes into this webinar, you're going to be able to get an x-ray exam like this for free if you've never done. In my clinic here in Charlotte, if you're saying, oh, I want to do this, the x-rays are free. They're included in our experience in what we call your health evaluation. We'll talk about this in a moment. Can you guys see this? I hope you can see this. Huge transformations. Again, vagus nerve has been shown to talk to every square inch of your body. It physically doesn't just control your intestines. It goes to your lungs. It goes to your heart. It goes to your liver. It goes to your gallbladder. So if you have blood pressure issues, vagus nerve. If you have asthma, vagus nerve. If you have an arrhythmia, vagus nerve. If you have an immune issue, gallbladder, liver, pancreas, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, vagus nerve. Do you guys see this? And again, remember, your intestines are what produce the majority of your feel-good hormones anxiety, worry, concern, regret, all of it is not genetic. It is your body's inability to communicate from the brain to the systems. Man, I hope you see this. Okay. Now, remember, I also said that we can detect if nerves are being pinched. Like, remember the pinched nerve that doesn't cause pain? Tell me if you would agree with me on this. I don't need all of you to say it, but just somebody tell me. Is the spine out of alignment right here? It comes straight up and then right there, it tilts to the left, and then it goes straight up. These two zones of the spine are interfered with, and we can measure them by just saying, what is it? It's T12 and it's L3. Guys, that is the nerve root system that controls your enteric system. All this black stuff is stool and fecal material backing up in a patient who came to me saying, I have an irritable bowel disorder. Notice the healthy normal. 
the spine is completely straight, stacked on itself. All regions are aligned properly. We have a tremendous amount of irritation within the colon. We see a little bit, but not a lot. So you can actually have a proper nerve evaluation done very simply with x-rays if somebody knows what to do. Now, what about those of you who are like, okay, Dr. Ernst, I get it, but where's the research? Where's the peer-reviewed clinical studies that publish that say this is going to work? Seizure disorders, vagus nerve, yes. Absolutely yes. How about this? Case study resolving not just low thyroid, but irritable bowel syndrome in a 34-year-old patient who went under chiropractic care. Published. Both her thyroid issues and her IBS went away. How about this one? A study that was published in 2007 showing 70% of people with Crohn's disease got resolution of their symptoms and their condition. That's huge. How about this? A case study that is pulled from a friend of mine who's a chiropractor out in St. Louis that said, I've been taking care of a patient for over seven months now who had irritable bowel ulcerations in her colon to where they actually were taking every medication you can think of. And after just six weeks of structural chiropractic, which is what I do here in North Carolina, do you see all the crud in her gut? That's the leakiness. It's the infection. It's the, the breakdown of the barrier. Do you see how the spine is drastically out of alignment? And after just several weeks of therapy, the spine starts to reset. When you fix your spine, your body will clear itself out. Colonoscopy in this patient showed 100% resolution. This is a colonoscopy from a patient of mine. And before you think, oh my God, what are those? Are those worms? No, this is diverticulitis and the outpocketing that's created when you have inflammation and irritation. This is also an overlay of Crohn's disease where there's irritation and inflammation within the colon. She's been working with us for a little over six months and had a recolonoscopy just done not that long ago. Linda, if you're on, and guess what? Gone. Now, how does something as gross as this go to this? You clear the nerves, you fix the leak, you remove the toxins, and the body is always self-regenerating. Always. I've seen this happen over and over and over and over again, but so many of you are going, well, nobody's been able to offer it for me. It's because you have to offer it to yourself. You have to be the healer. So now that we have the nerve tissues are involved, and if you're looking for an exam and you're on this webinar today, you get free nerve system checkups in my clinic. We have to go deeper than into the gut. How does this gut actually cause a problem? Number one, we know that the gut that I talked to you about before, all the leak, all the stuff, it spreads and affects everything. If you have a thyroid condition, there's a 90% chance it's actually your gut that's causing the problem, not your thyroid. If you have depression, anxiety, ADD, hyperactivity, it's a gut issue because the neurotransmitters are not going up into the brain. If you have sinus problems, allergies, it's not seasonal. It's when your gut is inflamed and irritated that it actually happens. If your joints hurt, if they ache in the morning and they feel a little bit better throughout the day, but then the next day they ache again, this is a gut issue. If you're tired all the time, if your adrenals are stressed out, if you're fatigued, if your hormones are all off balance, it's a gut issue. But remember, the gut issue is a nerve issue. So again, what happens? It's a breakdown in the barrier. You've lost the healthy mucosal lining and you created the leak either because Roundup killed the cell or there's inflammation from the zonulin gluten and all this stuff, viruses, bacteria, and pathogens get into your blood as it says, no, thank you, and it builds an immune response. Natalie, lesions in your liver is an indication of a long-standing health issue that I guarantee you stems from the gut, but you can make this happen. You can heal from that. Elizabeth saying, thank you for your work. You're welcome. It's what I do. It's my passion. I know God put me on this earth because I have this ability to understand what you need to do. I have a brain that can handle all of this and can put it together in a nice, easy, simple package that just says, go do this. Now watch, really important you pay attention here. This is a urine sample that if you order it, can be sent to house, your house, you collect the urine in the morning, freeze it, ship it, and the results will come back, which I can help you to interpret, and it will tell us, do you have a gut leak? Now, real quick, zonulin is in the blood, not in the urine, in the blood. But high levels of zonulin will create something called indican, which is an organic acid, and your body will secrete the indican to tell us how much of a leak is present. So we use this test in my clinic. 
to find out how bad is your leak. Remember I told you we can score your leak? If you're anything over this 63, 64 range, you're leaking. The other reason I like this test is it tells us, is there yeast, clostridium, too much acidophilus, or global bacteria? What's going on? We can tell what is happening to you so we can develop a targeted custom therapeutic process using holistic, non-prescriptive antibacterials, antivirals, antifungals to clean out your gut. So look how easy this is. You just got to get the test and then you need somebody to show you what to do. That's what we do. Okay. I'll show you in just a moment how you can save tons of money on this test. There's another way you can find out if your gut's leaking. In my office, we have a scale, very special. You stand on it. It runs an electrical current through your body and it will tell you how much fat you have in different areas of your body. Now, listen, I know, I know what's going on. Some of you are going, oh my God, I'm overwhelmed. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing it. There's too much. Just your is aware of the leak. It knows it's happening and it's brilliant wisdom. It's trying to stop the leak for you. So what it does is it says, well, I'm going to fill in the gap to try to stop the leak. And what it fills it in with is cholesterol and fat. I think you see where I'm going with this. If you have elevated cholesterol, you have a gut leak. Simple. Why? Because your body's making more cholesterol to try to fix the gap. If you haven't solved the problem, either the gluten intolerance or the ground up toxicity, it's just going to keep reappearing so your body puts all the fat back. Those of you who pack tons of fat in your intestines, I go to the gym, lose weight 10 pounds, but it comes right back. Leaky gut, not laziness not in a, your diet, it's a gut leak. Your body is trying to heal you at all times. How can we tell if this is happening? Very simple, stand on the scale, it'll tell us how much fat is on your body. I think this is the coolest thing ever. So if I weigh, say for example, 175 pounds, but how much of that is fat, the scale will tell us. Look at this patient, his name is Jeff. He came in at the beginning of this year, struggling with his health. He goes, Dr. Ernst, I need help. Stood on my scale, 36 pounds of fat on his body. The computer is telling us it's too much. He has too much fat. But we don't just stop there. We want to see where is the fat. And notice he has 21 pounds, 21 pounds of fat in his intestines. He only has 36 pounds of fat. I know it's math, but divide. And what you will see is by volume, he is 58% of his total body fat in his abdomen. That's a gut leak. If it's over 50, it's leaking. Now, What's really cool about this scale is we can track your progress as you heal. We run it every four weeks and we get to see what's happening. Now, somebody tell me, would you like to see some outrageous results? Give me an amen in the chat. Yes, Dr. Ernst, I've already seen some great results, but I really want my socks blown off. I want to be wowed so much that I go, I got to do this for myself. Here's what I'm going to show you. This is Jeff after going through literally only a few months. We're four months into his treatments. So he's clearing his spine, he's cleaning out his gut, he's taking his nutrients, and watch this. He lost so much weight that he came to me and he goes, Dr. Ernst, we have to stop. I'm losing so much weight, I'm afraid that something's going on. I can't handle how fast I'm losing weight. How many of you would like to lose weight so fast you have to tell your doctor, hey, stop? He literally lost, what is this, almost 30 pounds in just four months, but look at what happened. Can you see this? Man, I pray you see this. He went from 30 pounds of fat on his body to only 10, three, three in the gut. What is this? It's proof of gut healing, 27% total body fat here. Jeff, in four months, completely healed, completely healed off everything. That never happens in a traditional medical environment. Why? They're not paying attention to the neurological issues. What do we need to see? Let's take a look at Jeff. He says, yes, Dr. Ernst, share my story. People need to hear this. Do you see how right here, his spine is out of alignment, right there. Do you see how he has the irritation to colon? That's the leak, that's the IBS, the IBD. Clear colonoscopy, just so you guys know. Here's his x-ray that we took not that long ago, on the right, same person, he had his keys in his pocket. So if you're wondering what is this, he forgot to take his keys out of his pocket. Metal shows up on an x-ray. Same person, what is this? That is nearly 90 to 99% resolution of spinal nerve damage. What happened in his gut? Gone. What happened to his health issues? Gone. Why? Fix the spine, clear the gut, 
get rid of the toxins, the body heals all the time. How did we pull off results like this? Jeff did it himself. He healed himself. We helped him with the chiropractic, the physiotherapies, the coaching and the education, and he did it himself. How about Rendy, who pastors Calvary Church, who came to me with gut problems, but my breaking out in boards, and he goes, look, I'm ashamed to admit it. I'm a pastor. I feel like I've been plagued with disease. I don't understand why. I'm trying to help people get into heaven, and I have hell on earth all over my body. And I said, Randy, you're just not healing. We need to fix your problems. We need to clean out the gut. We need to fix the spine. Guys, that is 90 days change on his skin. You see this? I hope you see this. Things that you've been told can't heal can. Psoriasis, eczema, placking, dermatitis. It's a gut issue. Thyroid, gut issue. Brain problems, gut issue. But the bigger issue is you're still poisoning yourself every single day if you are not eating organic foods and if you're consuming anything that's sprayed with Roundup, which is corn, soy, and wheat. Look, I pulled this from a clinical study to try to prove to you that you need to stop eating wheat. I don't care if you say, I don't have a problem. I'm not a celiac patient. You do, you do, you do. The, the, these graphs here represent the incidence of each of those conditions in the bars at the bottom. So for example, the rates and incidence of celiac disease. We also have what? We have the rates and incidence of intestinal infections. Look at anxiety in the United States. Anxiety and, and depression issues and overworked, overstress has been climbing in everyone. But now what you're looking at here is the amount of the pesticide that's being sprayed onto the corn, soy, and wheat in the U.S. I don't know if you see this, but that is a direct correlation. Diabetes, direct correlation. Autism, direct correlation defects in people's hearts, bacterial infections of the guts. Please tell me that it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see this. Correlation is when you have things elevate and you graph across another product that's being used or another testing agent and you say, look how they matched. The more Roundup we use, the more spraying we do for corn, soy, and wheat, the more disease we have. Why? It causes damage to your intestines. It causes you to have a gut leak. Can you see that on a colonoscopy? No, you have to get tested. How do we test for Roundup toxicity? Same channel that you run to look for gut leak will tell us if your liver is overworking to remove that chemical toxin. I'm gonna keep it light and simple. When these two markers are high, you have glyphosate Roundup toxicity. When this is high and this is low, you've overburdened your natural detox process from moving this chemical that is very hard to get out. Donna, you're right, MDs are trained in pharmaceutical treatment. So even if someone comes to them saying, I think I have a leaky gut, they're gonna go, well, we can put you on meds that can be anti-inflammatories, et cetera, but they're never gonna tell you how to solve the problem. You have to find out how much Roundup is in you. How much of a leak do you have? Is it bacterial, fungal, parasitic, et cetera? That's what I can do to help you. We have blood exams that can see how much inflammation you have and I've had patients come in that go, well, look, I'm a raging type 2 diabetic. I have heart disease. I need to figure out how to solve my thyroid problems. I'm all over the place. And it's real simple. Nerve, gut, toxins. Those are the three interferences that prevent you from healing. Pull the gut issues, pull the toxins, correct the spine, fix the nerve issues, and you regenerate. And it happens all the time. I've been in practice now 13 years. I've seen over 46,000 patients come through my Charlotte clinic. We have a 95 to 98% success rates. Why do we not have 100? There are some people who just don't do what we ask them to do. I had a patient the other day that I said, I need you to fast for one day, check your sugars multiple times throughout the day, and they went, I can't do that. If I don't eat, I'm going to fall apart. Well, hold on. You can do it for one day. No, no, no. I absolutely can't. I just cannot. I cannot. I have to eat. Well, that's a problem because we need to be able to figure out how your body's responding. Dr. Ernst, I can't do it. I'm out. That is an unsuccessful patient because they didn't do what I asked them to do. Does that make sense to you guys? Toxins, they're everywhere. It's not Roundup. It's everything you put on your body. It's everything you consume and eat. Guys, there's 80,000 toxins. You need to have a toxicity profile done. I guarantee you, you've never had that. The tests that we do look for your root causes. Let me explain these for you in just a minute. We can find inflammation on blood exams. 
We can see stress to you neurologically. We can find out if your diet is actually working for you or not with our urine samples. My urine sample will tell me, are you digesting proteins, fats, and carbs? We can look for toxins. We can find out if you're not sleeping properly. If you're nutrient deficient, you can't heal. If you have digestive issues, then what we know is that that affects the root. And up here, we see the symptoms, but the cause is always beneath. So what I'm going to ask you is this, as we sort of wrap up for today. Have you ever had a root cause exam? Root cause. Not a medical exam, not a, not a whatever. If you want to get off your acid reflux pills, a root cause exam. If you want to fix your IBS, IBD, diverticulitis, diverticulosis, Crohn's, or celiacs, root cause. You want your anxiety to go away? Root cause. Thyroid, heart disease, high blood pressure, cholesterol, root cause. What are these cause tests? It's a microbiome profile to find out what's going on in your gut. Most of you have never had this done before, ever. Those of you who are patients, you've had it. Second, your cellular inflammatory process. We have to find out how toxic you are, so we do a toxicity profile. Third, we do what's called functional blood work, not medical blood work. We have to look and see if your hormones are communicating. Are your organs working properly? Do you have inflammatory markers? And then four, we do the neurological evaluation, the spinal checkups, everything I said to you that's free, nerve testing, free, the scale test that shows us how much fat you have, free. What do you actually buy then? Well, listen, I think you would understand with me, the tests have a cost. I have to buy them. I have to order them or we have to file it through your insurance. So I want to take five seconds and talk to you about insurance and testing because now is where everybody starts to say to me, okay, good, I want to do it. I have Blue Cross. They're going to cover this test, yes? No. Medicare, no. UHC, Aetna, Great Health West, whatever you guys have, no, 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 no. Why? It has to be ordered by a medical doctor and tagged to a diagnosis for your insurance to pay for a test. Now, some of you say, great, I have a diagnosis and you're a medical doctor. I am not. I'm a functional medicinal practitioner. I do functional medicine. I don't have an MD. I don't want an MD. MDs manage disease. I have a doctorate in internal medicine from a functional perspective and I have a doctorate in chiropractic care. I am going to show you how to become the doctor and how to test yourself. So deep breath, but yet you're going to save thousands of dollars. Ready? If you were to order the tests, and have them be filed through your insurance company. We're talking the exams, the x-rays, the workups, all this stuff, and have the results review where I can show you what's going on and what's happening and test a treatment to see how you respond. You're looking at, on average, roughly about $2,450, no matter what your insurance is. Now you might say, I've met my deductible in full. They're gonna cover it. Remember, it has to be ordered by a medical doctor and it has to be an approved test is an at-home urine sample that measures your gut leak an approved test? No, because you're doing it yourself. Is the LabCorp blood exam that I custom created a medical test based upon a diagnosis? No, we're looking for root cause. So I can save you a ton of money by this. We have what's called a physician's courtesy discount. The lab does not charge me as a doctor what they would charge you as a patient if I order the test. So here's what I'd love to do for you. I'd like to order your test for you, which means I pay for it, which means I get it at my discount, which means I give it then to you. Jane, HSA can be used for this. Yes, because that's not tied to your insurance. It's a physical savings card. Can you use HSA to order tests? Yes. Can you use your debit card? Yes. Can you use your credit card? But understand this, you're going to save thousands of dollars because all I'm going to ask you to do is re-expense uh, re us the cost that we have. You're going to reimburse me because I'm swiping my credit card to order your test at a discount. You pay it back to us. Profit is zero. And then because you're on the webinar, I'm going to give you an extra gift. X-rays at no cost. Your first therapy, no cost. Your, uh, what do you call it? Review of findings, your results review, no cost. Your treatment plan review, do this, do that, do this, no cost. And if you decide that with what we have helped you with, that you'd like me to become your coach, your doctor, your provider, I have one of you said, can I become your primary? Yes. 
If you say, yes, I want to, then what you will get is a reinvestment of that money. So in just a moment, in the chat box, I think you should now see there or here, a little button that says, click here to claim this offer. I wanna explain how this works. If you buy the test up front, and you let me see if I can help you, and we show proof that we can help you, and you say, Dr. Ernst, I'm in, I wanna do it, I will reinvest the 897 back into the cost of your care program. So I would like to buy your test outright. Meaning, for every single one of you that do this, that's $900, 897, that I'm willing to invest in your health. Why would I do this? No other doctor is gonna do this. Because God told me years ago that I'm putting you here on this earth for a purpose, for a passion, for a mission. I want you to be a voice in darkness. I want you to show people how to heal themselves. And you're gonna think this is nuts, but I'm gonna bless you so that you can be a blessing to others. I pay for people's care. We often give 50 to 60% of stuff away because you won't be able to have anybody else do that. So here's what works. Once you click that offer, you're gonna be taken to a page that looks just like this. Guys, it's a secure server directly to my office. It's gonna ask you to say, do you wanna buy it with Google Pay or do you wanna check out directly with your credit card? I would recommend if you have it, just click check out. If you have Google Pay, use it, great. Once you then go to the checkout process, all I need is your name, your information, so we can ship the test to you so you can get them done, and then you'll just click submit. The moment you do that, you'll get an email from my office that gives you the instructions on how to pick up or collect your labs. It's simple. You go to the lab and you get the blood work done. Lab Corp, they're all over the United States. If you are not local, you can still do this. If you're local, do it. Once you get the instructions from us, you'll need to fill out some paperwork so that we can know more about your health issues and we're gonna then schedule an in-office and exam so we can do the composition test, the x-rays, the nerve test, all free, no cost, and then we schedule the review time for you to go over your results, okay? When you complete this, my clinic is located in the north side of Charlotte. So those of you that are local and you're going, all right, I'm in, I'm gonna do this, it's simple. We'll give you the address, we'll show you the location, the lab tests take roughly about two weeks before they come back. So you order the tests, we ship them to you, or you pick them up locally, you run them, the results come back, you meet with me. as a 30 minute one-on-one -on -one appointment, no cost. You get a therapy so we can either release the nerve system, give you some sort of a detox, tell you what to do, we retest you, and then what happens is, on your third visit, we'll show you exactly what you need to do to fix this. Patricia says, what if you've already signed up and paid the 897? Well, then you should be in this process. You should have had your lab sent to you, et cetera. If there's been some sort of a gap, please let me know. Because if you've already done it, then you've got the labs. Now, if you've done it in the past and you need to do it again, if it's been more than six months, you would just need to reactivate and let us run the test again. Charles saying, why do I get dizziness? Well, listen, that's a gut brain disconnection. So listen. As we kind of finish out today, I'm gonna to leave this offer up. Remember, the offer is a full neurological exam, thermography of your spine, digital x-rays, a leaky gut test using the total body compositions, how much fat is in different regions, a full blood work, a full urine work, looking for your microbiome dysfunctions, three visits to my clinic, all included, all you buying the lab at my price, at a discount. So instead of paying the full retail fee, you get them, you save, and then you're gonna be able to figure out how to heal yourself. And again, a bonus for those of you who stuck around to the end is that if you come to the clinic, we do the testing, we do the results, you get a positive improvement in your health and you say, yes, I want you to coach me through my health issues. I will reinvest the 897 back so the cost of your care is automatically reduced. I'd like to buy your test for you. It's my pay it forward concept. And I hope as we begin to now close, you realize one thing, there is more inside of your body than any lotion, potion, pill, prescription, or cream. You have the capacity to self-heal and regenerate. Find glyphosate damage, gluten damage, leaky gut, nerve involvement. Let me help you find them if you're looking for that. Hey, if you're here for information, you are on information overload. You have a lot to learn still. If you're here as a patient, share your testimonial in the text in the chat box. I've already seen some of you do that. If you're here going, this is it, I'm doing it, click that offer. We're gonna send the labs directly to your house. 
You'll get an email from my office today with instructions on how to do that. And then you'll get a call on Monday from my team to schedule your appointments so that you and I can meet and then show you how to become the victor champion that you are. Guys, here's what I'm going to do. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. This is incredible. About 90% of you have stayed on all the way to this point, so I honor that. I love the fact that you're here today. It was by divine appointment, but I got to split. I have a radio show this afternoon. I got to get prepped for that. I have to eat. It's now 11.22. I still haven't had anything. I'm going to hang around for about the next maybe 7 to 10 minutes over there in the chat box. So the video is going to go away. You're going to see the beginning slide that says, welcome to the digestive webinar. But I am still here in the chat box for about the next 7, 10 minutes. Thank you so much for hopping on today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Use this chat box. Those of you who are looking for the next step of your health, claim this offer. Become the champion. Become the victor that you are. Thank you. God bless. I love that you're here today.